Good morning, everybody. Um, it has been quite a while since I have, um, what do you call this, recorded a vlog. And um, so I just thought today is the day. Um, actually, the last two weeks since I have been substituting full time, I actually have barely had a voice. So that might be part of some of it. Um, it's it's difficult to be um, being a PE teacher all day, every day, um, yelling and and being excited and playing games and all that. My voice just isn't used to it. So usually by Friday, I'm I have hardly anything left. Um, but I just wanted to check in with you and see how you're doing. I am I'm doing well. Last week, honestly was a very, very bad week. It was um, a tough week emotionally, um, physically. I was very tired. Um, Clay was out of town for the most part. It was just very difficult in, in a lot of ways. And um, one, of those, one of those weeks where I was like, you know what, I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm running away. Um, but this morning, um, yesterday at church, Oh, the Lord just gave me the greatest gift ever and um, or allowed me to be a part of a gift, I would say, not gave me the gift. But um, this morning um, in my quiet time, the Lord led me to Psalm 116 and it says, I love the Lord for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live. This is the way I felt last week. The, the cords of death entangled me, and the anguish of the grave came upon me. I was overcome by trouble and sorrow when I called on the name of the Lord. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, save me. The, that, that whole chapter, chapter one, um, 116 in Psalm, goes on and on about crying out to the Lord and that He saves us. And then verse 12 is probably the expression I had yesterday at church. <clears throat> it says, How can I repay, repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I have a friend, Melissa, back in Charlotte, and she signs the bottom of her emails. Um, I don't know if it's original with her or someone else made it up, but it says, um, my saucer is full, my cup runneth over, or something along that. But just that um, her, the cup of joy or cup of goodness, the cup of blessings, whatever, hers is running over so much that it, even her saucer is full. And I love, love that um, thought, that word picture, because that is how I feel today. After a very tough week, I can tell you that my cup is running over and my saucer is full because the Lord has been good to me. Um, my little third and fourth grade girls that the Bible study, it ended last week. And on that night, we gave um, an opportunity for the girls to ask Jesus in their heart. A very private thing, a very um, personal thing. Uh, but we did that, and we had five girls come to know the Lord, and I, I, oh, I was so excited. Um, and then yesterday at church, our, we were doing an old school kind of revival at our church, and we had um, a father that has just started coming to our, to our Sunday school class, a father and his two sons come to know the Lord, um, we had another couple with a husband and wife and their son that's about my son's age come to know the Lord. And then there was another couple um, that Clay had been talking to that had just moved to town. Those two also came to know the Lord. And so um, my preacher last week in just talking to me in, in through the, the horrible week, he said, Lee, you're going through a tough time. There's things to learn, but God is going to bless, and you got to hold out for that blessing 
is basically what his words were to me. God is doing something and you you just got to wait. You got to hold on. You got to press through this. You got to handle this sifting and and God is going to bless. And for God to to show me five little girls that might that had been affected by um, a Bible study the three of us moms were doing, and then to bring all those people out of our Sunday school class and um, allow them to come to know the Lord. Woo! It's almost too much to handle. It's almost too much goodness because my cup is running over and my saucer is full. And I went through a terrible week last week, cried out to him for mercy. And then to see the fruit of these people come to know him, it's almost too much. <laughs> but I'm so thankful that the Lord was able to pull me through a terrible time. And then to see this many people come to know the Lord and, and, and to know that um, their salvation wasn't anything that Claire and I were a part of. But just to know that, um, I, I don't know, it, it, it's just so good. So I want to encourage you to go to Psalm 116, to cry out to Him. If you are in that bad place, if you are in, um, in a place that just doesn't seem like it's getting any better, cry out to Him. He protects the simple-hearted. When I was in great need, he saved me, is what verse 6 says. So I pray that you are having, um, starting out the week good with him. Um, I, I'm going to a different school today. It's something I already had planned. I'll be teaching sixth grade, and oh, I'm a little afraid of that. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to be on the other side of a tough day, tough week. And um, just to know, oh, my God is so good. And I hope you know that, too. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.